Hey guys, Eric here. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Before we tune in to the details today, I have one little favor I'd like to ask you. Are you listening to this on Apple Podcasts or Spotify? If you are, and if you haven't done it already, it would be so helpful to Anita and I if you could leave a five-star review. It could just be putting five stars or even writing down something that you really enjoyed and learned from the episodes that you've heard so far. This kind of help would really improve our ability to give you better content and also to help other people find out about Taiwanica. So if you wouldn't mind taking just a few moments to do that, if you haven't already, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we really hope you enjoy today's episode. This is episode 19, talking about school systems and tests. Welcome to Taiwanica. What's up, everybody? My name is Teacher Eric, also a host here on Taiwanica Podcast. I am so glad and grateful to have you all here listening to us today talking about a very interesting topic. But before we get into it, I would like to introduce the other host here on Taiwanica Podcast, uh, 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 Anita. Hello, I'm Anita. Oh, uh, no, you're not. I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Anita. Hello, guys. <laughs> I am the other host on Taiwanica Podcast. And I am also a uh, teacher and amazing talker. I'm also really grateful for you guys to join us today. Yeah. So, Anita, let's go ahead and get right on into it. We're um, talking about, uh, you know, like... The serious stuff. I guess so. It's a, an interesting part of both of our countries that is a little bit different, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Like, there are some similarities sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then there are some, like, ooh, really different. Yeah, right? So, mm -hmm. and a lot of people have asked us about this, so that's why we're making an episode today mm -hmm. about uh, what is the big difference between an American and Taiwanese school system. Uh, but before we do that, we mm -hmm. would like to like give a small intro yeah. to what our uh, school systems are. But Anita, would you be willing to tell us about Taiwan first? Of course not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course, yes. What kind of question is that? Okay, well, I am more than happy to do so. All right, so I think that the first thing I discover the differences is uh the years like you know the years yeah the years mm -hmm. let's start from uh kindergartens okay kindergarten is just for taiwanese people mm -hmm. uh like that it's optional you can choose to skip uh kindergarten oh interesting. you don't have to do that and also in uh, Taiwan's kindergarten, you have like xiao ban, zong ban, and da ban. You don't have to necessarily, wow. yeah, you don't necessarily need to start from the, the most beginning, which is xiao ban. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, when I was a kid, I started from da ban. So I only stay one year in kindergarten. Wow. Wow. So you and actually then, have years of mm -hmm. kindergarten. Yes. Like it's almost its own education system. Kind of, yeah. Wow. Do mm -hmm. you, like, get a diploma after completing kindergarten? <laughs> I got nothing from my kindergarten. <laughs> and so now you have finished kindergarten. Here is it's a your little stuffed animal, stuff animal diploma. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I, I, I remember I got the school back from my uh, graduation of uh, kindergarten. Oh, so you did so win I, something. I did get something, wow. yes. Wow. Okay, mm -hmm. very interesting. So yes. in the USA, it's definitely a mandatory part of the education it's basically your intro into the education system. I mean, we have other things that are called preschool. And preschool is kind of its own phenomenon where you go over and just basically, you know. Fooling around. Ba basically, you learn little arts and crafts, run around mm -hmm. in the recess, and then, uh, you know, might watch a few videos. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's not part of the education system. You don't have to do mm -hmm. that, you mm -hmm. know. But kindergarten is a part of the oh, school. Oh, really? You have to go to kindergarten? So you, 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 if you, usually, yeah, it's usually, unless the school system uh, is kind of like one of the schools where it starts from elementary school and finishes in high school all at the same school, then oh, maybe they won't have wow. kindergarten. But uh, most of the time in today's schools, mm -hmm. you will need to go. Oh, how many years in kindergarten? In the just one. Just one. Just year. one. It's just the first school uh, grade before you enter the, what, what's considered first grade. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah. Interesting. So, like, like that's the difference. But because, like, my my brother in Taiwan, he didn't he skipped uh, kindergarten. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Because my mom thinks he's super smart, so he doesn't have to really go to kindergarten to learn something.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think the similarity here is like pre you guys is preschool, kindergarten, or our kindergarten is to learn like social skills, like、mm-hmm. you know, spend time how、right. to make friends and how to interact with different people. Exactly.、Mm-hmm. No, it's the same exact thing.、Uh, so uh, that's a really interesting part. But then afterwards,、uh, we kind of just go into elementary school and then、mm-hmm. middle school, which is junior high school for I think Taiwan,、mm-hmm. right?、Mm-hmm. Um, and then high school. But our grades are different. A little bit different. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So for U N U S A, it's for elementary school. It's generally、uh, kindergarten to fifth grade. Then middle school is sixth to eighth. And then high school is ninth to twelfth. So, in other words, five, three, four.、Hmm. That's yeah. For me, it's like crazy. You guys stay.、Uh, you guys stay in high school for four years. Yeah, it's、That's、a little too、crazy. long. Yeah. Yeah. So it's、uh, like total number is the same. Oh. But you know, you know, like we have six years in、uh, elementary school, three years in junior high school, and three years in senior high school. Oh wow! Okay,、mm-hmm. so you do have、um, like、uh, less time in high school. I think it's good because、right? <laughs> the hormone difference、yeah. with children in that time is just so great when you、yeah. when you first go. Into high school as a freshman,、mm-hmm. uh, you're just like so overwhelmed by the big, almost、yeah. adult looking. Yeah, because、uh, you see, like, yeah. say, like three, four years is different. Yeah, exactly. So you look at them and they're like huge.、You're, you feel like you're in college, but you're only, in, you know, you're 14 years, 14 years old, old, and so、mm-hmm. it's really weird. Yeah. Um, so that's the system difference in general.、Mm-hmm. Um, so what I'd like to do now is kind of like talk about like tests specifically. Wow. So,、yeah. in the USA,、um, it really just depends on、uh, a parent's perspective. But、uh, generally, tests are considered one thing and one thing only. They are to help you to、uh, you know get into college. You、mm. know,、uh, but and like your GPA is pretty important、uh, throughout your whole entire education like career, but.、Uh, Generally, the idea of test for us is just to be able to, you know,、uh, get get a good grade to make parents happy,、mm. and then afterwards,、uh, when you're in high school, you get good grades. It will help you get into a better university,、mm-hmm. kind of like this.、Mm. Uh, this is the flow. But I know in Taiwan, it's not necessarily like this, right? I mean, like you know, oh, it's not like. Final goal is goal is to enter the good university.、Mm. It's more like when you are if you have a good grade in your elementary school,、mm. and then when you enter,、uh, for us the huge, the important thing is from junior high school to senior high school. Okay. So like you know that、like、your elementary school and your junior high school is kind of like preparing、mm-hmm. the big moment to happen. So that's when we have our very big. Test for the very first time, which is you graduate from junior high school to senior high school. Okay. So you know, like,、uh, like I said, elementary, elementary school and junior high school, you're kind of like preparing to enter like really good senior high school. So every grade,、uh, I would say most of the people they don't really care about your grades in elementary school. Oh really?、Uh, the the most important time is like oh oh if you 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 know when you are elementary school your sc-、uh, your score is not so good it's okay but once you enter junior high school that's when it's serious stuff happen you have to in order to you have a better future you have to study really hard. We'll be right back. I really like journaling, but I always end up in no time or cannot find a journal that I really like. So I was like, "Hey, let me create one." So here it is: a self-help journal created and designed by Anita. Inside the book, I provide very simple and easy to follow template. For example, in the morning, to do list; in the evening, gratitude practice. So you can use a very little time to start this healthy habit. Go ahead and check it out in our description down below, or go to our buymeacoffee dot com.
Well, when I was teaching in Taiwan, I noticed something about my elementary school students, and maybe you can enlighten me on this. And that is,、uh, they were also doing placement tests in order to get into really good middle schools. Yes, we also do that. That's、uh, if you want to to enter a private school, like private,、uh, uh, private school. Yeah, middle school. Is that a common thing in Taiwan? I would say、mm, about forty percent. So that's pretty high. Yeah, because like right now, like I say, you know, Taiwan. We know like score and grades are very important in Taiwan's education system. Uh huh. So more before, like I say, uh, we only go to private or yeah, private school when it was senior high school or university. But lots of parents think, oh, that's not enough. So、uh-huh. we have to prepare even earlier. So a lot of、uh, parents they would choose to send their kids to private middle school.、I、That's、see. when you have to have the placement tests. Oh, I see. Okay, so in that case,、uh, it's very different from the, the American public education system because we are focused on you know、uh, just giving a, a kind of a life balance between education and freedom. So、uh, <laughs> what what I mean by this、What's、is freedom. That, Freedom is for us to, you know, have lots of holidays and go out and like go participate in clubs or sports or、mm-hmm. you know science camps and stuff like this. So for、wow. us, we have literally months of vacation.、What? Uh, yeah, so that's why it, this whole idea of like having a bunch of、uh, tests when we're young. Just doesn't make sense to Americans.、Mm-hmm. We we'd rather that you know, okay, if we pass the most important test, which is usually the final test of the year, you know, just proving that we learned all of the most fundamental stuff at school,、mm-hmm. then that's enough.、Mm-hmm. So, and then if we do that, we can go on to the next grade. And if we didn't, then we have to do a little bit of summer school、mm-hmm. to make up for that. You know,、mm-hmm. and then if we show during summer school that we've learned what we didn't learn in regular school, then we can go on to the next grade. But if we didn't, then we have to、Do、take more classes in the next year to still make up for it. It's kind of like extra education. <laughs>、um, that's more. That, that's、it's, the idea. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense though because you know that's kind of like how brains work. You know, brains are like slowly developing and trying、mm-hmm. to be able to absorb knowledge. And if your brain's a little bit slower at a certain age,、yeah. you have to have a little extra help,、yeah. a little bit more hand holding.、Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what happened to me in middle school for、mm-hmm. a little while. I needed to take extra classes,、mm-hmm. and、um, that time I learned some more fundamental stuff that I didn't learn in elementary school.、Mm-hmm. But after like one year of doing it, I was like, oh yeah. I get it now.、Okay. So they let me stop. They stopped、mm-hmm. taking them and just went back to my normal classes.、Mm. So、uh, you know that's kind of like how it works for us. It's not focusing on the test and proving whether or not we, you know, are really good at something. It's more about you know if you can understand the basics of、mm. your grades criteria,、mm-hmm. you know, and、uh, you know if you can prove it to be either really good or you need help, then、um, that's enough.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's so different.、Uh, I'm pretty sure all of、uh, our Taiwanese l- listener, they were just, like, oh my god, I'm so jealous because,、huh. uh, you、yeah, know, yeah, when you go into school, there is n- very limited,、uh, like what, like what you say, like science camp or or like summer camp or a school club or to join. Usually,、um, we we do have that, but it's like when we are really young, like elementary school, like when all the studies and all the subjects are not so serious.、Mm. You know, we do have that, and、uh, but when once you、uh, enter the junior high school, which is middle school, what you said in the United States, we need to spend every classes to do the like the what is so called major. Subjects like we most of the time we skip our PE class. We use PE class to do the test. Oh wow!、Uh, yeah, or like we skip something like computer science. We do have that in a in a senior high school, but we we don't we don't go to the computer room to learn how to operate computer. We use、oh. it to you know make up our like English class or Chinese class stuff like that. We have no freedom, at, freedom at all. That's all. That's why he said, "Oh, you guys have like freedom." So I was, you know, kind of joking around,、oh, say, "What's、see. freedom?" <laughs> We don't have that. 
So one more thing I really wanted to touch on before we uh, continue on talking about our personal experiences is I'm really curious, what is uh, Taiwan's way of going from high school to university college life? Um, could you, Anita, tell everyone a little bit about that process? Of course. Um, there are multiple ways, multiple ways that you can enter universities right now. But and that's uh, when that was my generation. There was only one like really big test. Mm. You go join that, and they will give you that like, you have to have like main, like I said, main subjects. So mm. like English, uh, Chinese, science, history, sort of things like that. And every school will have their score. Like if you achieve a certain score, that you can go to a certain uh, university. Like oh, I that. see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, it seems pretty straightforward uh, in comparison to what happens in the United States, where you know uh, we kind of have a very very easy system. For the majority of the states, and that is uh, when you're in high school, you need to take what's called the SAT mm -hmm. test, um, and it, it's based off of a point system. And so, the higher the points you get on your SATs, the more likely you'll be able to get into a particular school. Um, and as a personal experience, just to share with you, I took the SATs. <laughs> Three times, <laughs> and, and uh, I don't even remember what my scores were because at that time I really didn't care about uh, what happened uh, with university. So uh, I can't mm. tell you what my score was, but uh, I did get into university, so that's, that's all good, that that's matters. Good, yes, good. yeah, good for you, good for yeah. you, Eric. But what about you, Anita? Oh, my um, experience is a little bit different. All right, so. Uh, what we mentioned earlier, like from elementary school to junior high school to senior high school to university, this is the most standard uh, school system for um, regular students. But at my uh, in my generation at that time, we have another thing um, uh, called Wu Zhuan in Chinese, and in English it's called Five Year Junior College Program. What is that? That's um, a school you have to study for five years okay so when you are in junior high school if your score is not very good mm -hmm. it's very 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 difficult for you to enter a really good uh junior a senior high school sorry senior high school so again senior high school is a very important time in order to enter a really good university mm -hmm. so if your score in Junior high school is not so good. You cannot enter a good senior high school. There is another choice, which is what I mentioned, which is also what I went, which is Wuzhuan. Mm. Wuzhuan is very similar to university. Mm. We choose our major. Okay. So we don't study like, you know, common subject most of the time. We choose our major. So that's what I went to uh, Wuzhuan. But the downside is you have to study for five years. So how is this working? How is how does that work? That you stuff uh you study Wuzhuan for five years. After you graduate, you have two options, which is uh the first one is you go to Eji for study another two years. Okay. Okay. Or you can choose another one, which is become a transfer student to university, like the real university. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but that one is a little bit difficult because different school different uh, departments. Right. They will have different numbers of people they are accepting for that year. Mm -hmm. So you have to, you know, Google or decide at which university you wanted to go to and which uh, major you are, you are going to take. And then you have to go to their website and see, oh, how many people that they are accepting this year. So usually the number is around like 10. Oh, wow, very little. Very little. So you have to start even harder to enter uh, the university. Oh, this is uh, very similar to a situation for, let's say, for example, you have a very bad SAT score in mm -hmm. uh, in United States. Uh, so, and it's so bad that uh, your grades are bad, your SAT scores are bad. 
no university wants to take you. Uh, so uh, you have another option as an alternative to kind of give you another chance in the United States, and that is to enter a community college. Mm. Um, and a community college um, kind of is has two purposes. One is the one I just mentioned. It's kind of like giving students another opportunity to kind of like get their situation together and they can go and uh, take some courses uh, that are fundamental courses that universities will require you to take. Um, and if you do well in those, then you can actually take the credits that you did at that community college and take them to a real university. And mm -hmm. some, and sometimes, uh, they will even give you a discount on university prices oh. if they have a, um, a special relationship with that community, mm -hmm. with the, between the, co uh, community college and the university. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that, uh, the other purpose for community colleges in the United States, however, is extremely different. It's mainly for like uh, specialty skills, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you want to learn something, kind of like what we do on uh, online nowadays, uh, you know, there's lots of platforms that can teach you a skill uh, uh, conveniently at your computer now. But before there was that convenience, community colleges would offer you opportunities to, you know, take a sewing class mm. or uh, anything like uh, unique, uh, for example. Like and steel. The, yeah, uh, exactly. Like in Oregon, we have uh, a lot of nature here. So some of the uh, skills that you can learn in the community classes is go out into the nature, identify Ooh. flowers, identify trees. Go mushroom hunting, um, you know, identify, yeah, moss, you know, there's so many things in, involved with nature because, well, that's the environment we live in. Mm -hmm. So that's the other function mm -hmm. uh, for us. Now, you're cool. saying yours is more about just kind of like uh, developing your education foundation so mm -hmm. you can go into the university. So like the first version of what I said for community college, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like the uh, the final goal is to get the university diploma. Okay. That's the fundamental goal for most of the students in Taiwan. Can you get it at the school that you went to or do you need to transfer? The school I went to, like Wuzhuan? Yes. No, you, you cannot. It's so you different. have to transfer. Yes, I have. To, in order to get the real university diploma, yes, you have to transfer. So it's exactly the same as uh, the function I said for community college mm -hmm. for us. It's that if you want to get a real diploma that will count for jobs, mm -hmm. you have to transfer to a un real university at some point. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, that's... Uh, there's an interesting point of view. And so uh, now, before we... Uh, dive into our personal experiences, <laughs> uh, we want to sh share with you uh, some of our background in the university life. Right, Anita? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the ups and the downs. Oh, yeah. oh, all right. uh, but before we do that, we have uh, one thing we'd like to mention, uh, and that is uh, we were always trying to find more people to support us on Patreon. It is a platform that is you can use to be able to give Anita and Eric a little bit of uh, support and love, and uh, we can... With, in turn, give you guys some extra bonuses about what we're doing here on Taiwanica. You can see some funny stuff like where we uh, do the recordings or uh, see some extra posts about uh, things that we're thinking about and uh, some of the foundational thoughts and principles that we have been learning to be able to give you these kind of materials. So if you're interested in these sort of things, uh, definitely join us, uh, be part of our Patreon group. Of course. Yeah. It's always open. <laughs> Just go check it out and join us. Anita's been looking at pretty clouds <laughs> outside, so, um, you know. I'm connecting to the nature. Yes, a little bit too well, my love. <laughs> um, all right, so now let's uh -uh. talk about uh, how you so also connected <laughs> with yourself so well uh, during your university life. Because apparently oh, this, this woman here, before she went into <laughs> university, was a very quiet delicate little flower <laughs> hey. um but as you can tell <laughs> nowadays that is just not the case uh, so anita please tell us this you know life-changing <laughs> uh absolute crazy roller coaster that you called college um for our fans all right um 
as I mentioned, uh, Taiwan's education system is to train you to get a better score or like how to get good score uh, for everything. Okay. And uh, what what to do in order like how do they teach you to get a high score? Just to follow what teacher said that you will get, you will be okay for everything. You know, what teacher said and you follow and you do, then you will get a high score and you get a high score. You can get a good university, go enter a good university and you can get a job that you want. That's what they always tell you. But <laughs> you did not follow no, that no, rules. No, 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 no. I was that student. I follow oh. everything uh, what teacher said. I'm just like, okay, teacher says this and... I do that. Okay. Really? Yes. This is uh, surprising because <laughs> who you I are now is right definitely now. not like that. That's why I'm sharing this story oh, to the right. listeners. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. So like, I just do every day. Go to school, open my book, study, listen to the teacher. That's basically what everybody's doing in the university. One year that happened to my college mm. is I I got a chance I can uh, join a summer language uh, program in France. Oh, and at that time I don't know what pushed me to do that. I just feel like oh my life is so boring. I finally fought so hard to get into to get accepted to my to university, mm-hmm. but I just feel like every day I learn nothing. I just I went to school. The nothing, and then that one summer, just this opportunity came up. Just like, okay, I'll do that. But then, wait, before you dive into that, how did you find out about this program? Oh, uh, my major in college is uh, uh, foreign language department. Okay. Uh, to be to be more specific, is British and American literature. And at that time, we also have to choose a third uh, foreign language. Oh, okay, so you picked French. At that time, I didn't. Pitch, uh, I didn't choose any. I, actually, I choose a Spanish. Oh, I choose okay. Spanish. But that time, though, just a, a a teacher. She is a professor, and she her profession is French. Okay. So she posts this uh, information about you know there was a program that is a good, really good university in France as as that they're opening this language program, and I was just like, oh, okay, sounds like fun. I never learned French. It will be fun. So that's why I joined the, the the program. So if I understand you correctly, you found out about this program when you were trying to learn another language, and the professor kind of like introduced you to it and wanted to push you to go and give it a try. Uh, not exactly. Like my university, there, there, it's very international. They have a lot of sisters university. Okay. And it's one famous program of, of my university was, you know, they encouraging people to go abroad to explore different schools. Okay. So we have a, tons of opportunity like this. And it, when I was studying in that university, this is the big chance, uh, big opportunity happened to me. Oh, I see. One summer. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's why I joined it. So you went there. It was life changing. Totally. Why? Uh, there are two different uh, life changing. One is like it literally changed my mind because I never been abroad by myself and without speaking, without knowing how to speak their language. So basically, I was just throwing myself to a completely foreign. Place, yeah, sure. and you have to figure out how to survive by yourself. You have sure. to, you know, everything. So I become like really mature just for the first first week. So that's life changing experience for me. Okay. And when I really enter the the summer program, the language program, I was like, oh my god, the they don't sit like what we sit in Taiwan. Like teachers in the front and student was like, you know, in line. In rows. In rows. Sorry, yeah, in rows. And just listen to teacher. No, we sit in the circle. And the teacher sitting in, in like, the, the teacher inside of that circle. Oh, wow. So we we're kind of like just teacher or like experience, uh, share our thoughts, our ideas. If you stay quiet, just like what I was before, because, you know, I didn't really get used to that kind of system. I was being quiet. And the teacher will be like, uh, Anita, what's your, what's your opinion about this one? Oh. And I'll be like, Oh my God. Right. 
Oh my god. I gotta express myself. <laughs> yes, oh my I have to say something. <laughs> it's no longer, you know, this is really, really a huge moment of my life. Because that's like bringing up my understanding of learning to the next level. It's no longer just you listen, you obey, and you do things.、Mm. It's like you know, kind of like a community. Yes, and you can learn something by sharing, by talking, also by listening to other people. Sure, that's like totally kind of like、uh, growing together as a community. Yes, yeah. So well, it's no longer like teacher is in a higher pedestal, and the student just have to you know follow stuff like that. Interesting. Yeah, and then when I came back from that trip, yeah, I started to speak during my class. Oh,、and、so that was one of the biggest changes. <laughs> yes. So be- besides,、uh, just as a kind of like a conclusion to your story in France, is that you learned two very valuable lessons. One of them was to how to be independent、mm-hmm. uh, in a community,、mm-hmm. and the other one was、uh, how to basically express yourself, not only in a classroom, but who you truly were.、Mm-hmm. Now those were like the two biggest qualities that you learned from that、uh, experience. Exactly.、Mm-hmm. Wow. So it seems that if you ha- hadn't gone to this exchange program,、uh, you probably would still be a very different person, wouldn't you say? Definitely. I couldn't. No. I don't want to. No. Yeah. So- <laughs> Just really. I don't want to. You know. Be. Like I say, it's really life changing. I'm really happy about what I be, what I have become. So, yes, I cannot imagine if I've never gone to that trip. I see. It, it's、uh, it's very similar to、uh, a program that I also went through、uh, in university. And in the United States, we have lots of different programs for you if you are a good student.、Mm-hmm. Um, and、uh, when I first entered university,、um, like I said at the when I finished high school,、um, I w- didn't really care about education, so my GPA wasn't the best.、Um, and I thought these kind of opportunities for me were just always kind of like out of my reach,、mm-hmm. like being able to study、mm-hmm. abroad, stuff、mm-hmm. like this.、Um, Because the United States, you have to be able to meet a certain criteria in order to go. Uh, uh, but uh, as I looked closer uh, in university, uh, there's actually even more options available for students.、Um, so, and another one is an internship.、Um, mm. And so, I actually took advantage of doing this、uh, option, which is they said you can do an internship in another country. I was like, "Oh, cool!" So I was studying Japanese at the time, and、uh, I, because of my department、uh, having、uh, special internship programs, I was able to go over to Japan for six months.、Mm. Um, yeah, and it was a life changing experience. Mainly like your first one that you said,、mm-hmm. which was learning how to survive and、yeah. be independent.、Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, so I was already pretty self expressive. <laughs> um, so I didn't have、As、the everybody knows. yes, <laughs>、uh, but the first one I still needed to work on a lot. I didn't know how to be on my own,、mm-hmm. you know, and、uh, you know for many reasons. But、uh, yeah, when I lived there, I really learned that、uh, deeply, and it gave me kind of like an addiction to you know moving around the world、more. and、mm-hmm. seeing more places、yeah. and being myself、mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And also, it gave me the value of understanding, like the value, sorry, the value of being like independent,、mm. and、uh, you know, because you can meet so many people、uh, from all around the world、yeah. uh, from those kind of experiences. And it's true.、Uh, after traveling and living in four different countries and、uh, meeting thousands of people from all different walks of life, I it was totally worth it.、Yeah. And it all started because of that. Experience、mm-hmm. at university. So、mm-hmm. if I had not done that,、yeah. I would have would definitely not be the person I am today. Yeah. So、I'll、it's really be a trumper or something. Oh my gosh,、uh, <laughs> we're not making this show political, Anita. But thank you、uh, for your comment. Uh, uh, yes, and、uh, we love everybody. Yes.、Uh, so yeah, that was the、uh, the biggest point for me、wow. uh, in uh, in university.、Mm-hmm. Um, besides all the partying and、uh, you know. Stuff like that. Yeah, everybody knows it. So just you know, knows what Anita. 
<laughs> Should we talk about your yeah. party experience? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <clears throat> uh, that will be another topic. But <laughs> thank you for sharing your story. And I think that the reason why we're sharing our story is like, you know, in Taiwan, a lot of people really wanted to do that, but because their parents says, "Huh." Do you really think you go to a foreign country would be better for your life? You know, you should look at this thing in a different perspective. It's not really necessary that oh, I have to go to another country to be better. It's oh, not like it's not like that because there's no grades attached to it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Like like everybody is going to find a job. Why do you need to take a year off to, to like travel. gap year to go to, to travel? What what were you thinking? Really, really think that would be better for your future? It costs money. There's no yeah. A. And don't uh, do that just because your your classmate doing it. Just like you know, yeah. your parents will do so much say pressure. A lot of things like this, and you'll miss Chinese New Year. Yeah, stuff like that. You oh. know, just um, I think what we are trying to say here is yes, nobody can guarantee you like you will your life will be better after you go into a different country, but the point is you can see the world, and even the most important thing is you can see yourself. From a very different perspective. That's、and、true. You can know, like, oh my god, I can do this. There's so much I can do. There are so much potentials and ability that I have in my life, and I've never got a chance to do that. You know, that's just great feeling. It is.、Uh, of course, sometimes you will, like encounter some difficulties. Like you know, some sometimes you just like you don't have money or like lots of different situations you have to take care of. A lot of, of unpredictable situations. Yeah, like yeah.、Uh, you know, very chaotic situation. But that's part of your life. Right. If you you know go through it. You handle it. Then、But、that's yours. That's your experience. There's a lot of life lessons in that, you know. Definitely. And so it's、uh, it's definitely、uh, an important factor that I think everyone needs in order to evolve. Because, like Anita says, there's a lot of、uh, crazy situations that you'll find yourself in. But most importantly, you know, you'll be exposing yourself to an environment that you generally would never do.、Mm -hmm. And if you, let's just say, for example, you stay in your country for your whole life. Okay, your whole Life in one place. That means you're technically keeping your mind in the same place the entire time, never opening yourself up to different opportunities.、Mm. And if you go and ask anybody who has gone and just stayed for a tourist a tour visit in another country for more than two weeks,、mm -hmm. and ask them what was their perspective, they will tell you there they. Saw things that they never thought that they would see.、Mm -hmm. In other words, culture shock.、Mm -hmm. You know, and those kind of things are necessary for you to grow. And so, I,、yeah. you, no matter what, if you have a good experience, bad experience,、uh, you know, fantastic experience, whatever it is, you will definitely find that that experience made you a better person. Yeah. Because every individual, they have so much things to offer and so much things they can experience. So you know, if you just that's what they say that the comfort zone. You stay in the comfort zone, and it's very comfortable. Yes, but it's such a pity that you don't do. There's so much that you can do. Yeah, and so wrapping this up with the、uh, education system and test taking and how this all kind of connects is you know, you know, your your life can always be you know. Recorded based off of how well you did on your math test, or you know,、mm -hmm. like your ability in PE, or you know, like that science project you did at that exhibition, and everyone remembers you for it. And you know, everyone will remember you on paper, right? But no one will remember your story. And so, I really think that if you want to be able to really find yourself and experience the world. Uh, and not just you know make your parents proud.、Mm. Uh, it, being able to go outside of the education system's requirements and seeing things through your own view,、uh, then you have to be able to be willing to take things outside of your comfort zone.、Mm -hmm. And so I think that's one thing that Anita and I can agree on here is that、uh, the education and test taking systems, although are very good for the fundamentals. But for you to be able to really characterize who you want to be, you have to be able to expose yourself to more.、Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of people just compare those two. Like, which one is better? You go to a really good university and you get a really good job, 
Is this better, or you kind of like you know figuring out who do you want to be or your life experience, which one is better? I mean, you know, if you choose the first one, life is about choices, right? If you make the, that your choice be to be the first one, like you go to、uh, step by step, and you feel accomplishing, that's great. You know,、sure. that's your life choice. But if you kind of always feel like oh, there was something inside of some voice inside of you, like in the voice is telling you to explore more of this world, then do it. Yeah, I think that's a very valuable、uh, final message from you, Anita. Is、uh, you know that idea that we need to be able to explore if our if we're feeling some sort of lack inside of us,、mm-hmm. and.、Um, Yeah, I completely agree.、Uh, and y- if you want to follow like what your parents say and what society says in order to be a good citizen, and that makes you happy, then great,、yeah. do、mm-hmm. that. But if you feel like that kind of criteria doesn't suit you, what, what, like it wasn't for Anita and I. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of people out there who don't feel this way, and I'm re- I'm speaking out to you、uh, and saying that there is another option. The only thing you have to do is look for it.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, just trust yourself. You can do it.、Yeah. If I can do it, when I was like twenty one, without speaking the language, and I was just so scared. It was my first time when outside of Taiwan. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. Yeah, it's true. Just trust yourself. You have so much potential and ability. Yes, she is a prime example of uh, what uh, greatness is because she went from being this tiny little wallflower that I heard about. <laughs> Completely. Stop describing me as a flower. It's just delicate little <laughs> little flower.、Uh, that then,、so、literally, if you poked it, it would all break I'll apart. I'll cry. Yeah.、Um, but nowadays,、uh, what is it?、Uh, a few years later, not too many, right? Wink, wink.、Um, uh, uh, she's gone from being this woman of、uh, gentle and quiet, and I'll d- obey whatever you say. To this, I have my own personality. I have my own opinion, and I am fully capable of expressing it and showing myself to you, the world. And、uh, you know, I never have been more proud of her. Oh, they're so sweet. Yeah, you're the same. You、oh. know, yeah, like yeah. You don't need to say anything nice.、Okay. That's no, no, no. I tried to say something nice. Okay, I'm trying. Yeah, <laughs> no, try. I'm just kidding. Like he's so like Eric right now. He's so mature and he knows exactly what I, what he wants to do and what kind of person he wanted to be. And he's putting his effort if each and every day, every moment, in order to achieve the goals. So I'm also very proud of you. Thank you, honey. My beautiful flower. I am not a flower. <laughs> all right. You know what I want? What do you want? I want coffee. You want coffee? I want、yeah. coffee too. Buy, Buy me, me a coffee. coffee. <laughs> dot com slash Taiwanica. <laughs> All right, that's how you can support us with coffee. Thank you so much. And, Thank you so、uh, much. So Anita, any、yep. final comment to say to our fans before we finish today? Just recognize your own value.、Mm, well said. Yeah.、Uh, and for me,、uh, yeah. All I want to say is explore. Explore, even if it's you know talking to a stranger today at the grocery market, you know, or it, even if it's just you know helping someone you know hold their hold the door open、mm-hmm. or something like that. You know, if it's something that feels weird to you, but it's really small, do it、mm-hmm. because it's a chain reaction towards doing、yeah. so many great other different things for you. It doesn't have to start big; you can start really small.、Uh, so yeah, that's my last comment. And、uh, thank you so much for listening to us. Please make sure to、uh, follow us on、uh, Spotify or Apple Podcast. If you do listen to us on Apple Podcast, we would love if you would give us five stars. Every rating counts for us to be able to find more listeners like you to be able to、uh, spread this message across Taiwan, which is our goal.、Mm-hmm. We want to be one of the biggest podcasts in Taiwan. Yeah. So please make help us make that a reality. Yes, believe、Uh-oh. your value and ability. Oh, the flower! The, the flower is back, everybody. <laughs> no, yeah, you know, just like that's every day. Just do something great,、yes. and then you know that's what we all asking for. If you like our podcast and just giving us a five、uh, star, we will really appreciate you. Yes,、mm-hmm. thank you for listening. Today、thank、was、so、a long、much. one, but it was totally worth it. I, I think it's totally worth it. All right. Well,、mm-hmm. let's say、uh, bye bye. We love you. Bye. bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to Taiwanica. 
If you're enjoying the show, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. That helps others find the show, and we greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for listening, and we'll catch you in the next episode.